Are you going to release a new album soon? Yes, <laughs> is the answer. Um, I'm going to release my it's my second album. It's called Hymns, and it's going to be released uh, the end of the summer, um, about September time. I haven't got an exact release date yet, um, but yeah, it's um, it's being written and it's it's pretty much like there. Um, so I'm going to start like giving some samples out, I think, on the SoundCloud and on the Facebook. Uh, yeah, so it's it's coming. Like it's been a long time actually since my last album, and um, just been doing lots of other stuff, like been like, traveling a bit and doing some studying of psychology and things like that. And so basically, it's all it's all reached this point now, culmination of like three or four years. Um, yeah, quite excited about it. How did you get in touch with Dub FX, RE, your collaboration on this album? Uh, so yeah, me and Ben Dub FX have kind of known each other for about a decade <laughs> now. Um, we like met on the streets of Melbourne um, doing doing beatboxing. Neither of us really aware of each other's existence, and then like meeting each other was like a sort of whoa there's someone else doing that and it was it was awesome and and from the very first minute i met him like we were just he would come and rap on some of my tracks that i was doing on the street and then i'd come and rap on his tracks we met up at festivals and like i remember a few festivals where we were just like at a campfire from like 12 o'clock till sort of five in the morning just like looping 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 and all these other people would come out of the woodwork like Mr. Woodnote and other beatboxers and yeah um, so yeah I've known him for quite a long time and uh, it's really I was really honored when he kind of asked me to do a track on his album um, and he's going to be doing a track on my album as well I'm really excited about that it's going to be like real kind of hypey sort of yeah, kind of glitch hoppy rap type thing. Um, yeah, so it's gonna be good, yeah. Um, stay tuned for that. How did you start making music? Um, well, I started music a long time ago, so I played like piano, cello for, for a while when I was like a kid. And then um, I basically like played guitar for a bit and was a singer songwriter. And then I decided I didn't necessarily want to keep in the singer-songwriter tradition. I came up to London and um, found myself in touch with like the breakbeat and drum and bass scene, and uh, got really like converted over to electronic music. And then um, it was just through like gaining residencies in some of the like so the end in London, um, and yeah, some cool breakbeat nights like Chew the Fat. Uh, that I decided to like electronic music is is the way forward for me and but then I, I still just I like, wanted to travel and things so I didn't want to have to like bring this whole rack of equipment with me everywhere I go so I just decided to you know make it with the mouth and uh, yeah I guess that's that's how I started yeah did I start making music with this load of nerdy equipment <laughs> or was it just pure beatboxing uh, yeah, no, it was just just pure beatboxing when I started beatboxing, um, rapping, and then basically almost almost immediately I decided I wanted to do, say like do some rapping over the top of my beatboxing because they were both important things for me, and I didn't want to necessarily be tied down to a DJ, uh, so I decided just to get a loop station. It was like one of those really really small ones, like the Boss RC20. And um, yeah, so I had that for a number of years and then it's just, you know, oh, now I need delays, now I need reverbs, now I need to be able to like glitch this beat while this beat is still doing something. Um, and it just built up and built up until I have this bunch of nerdy equipment. <laughs> what is on the agenda for the next couple of months? Um, well, just making this album basically. Yeah, I've, I've, I've got like, maybe eight tracks that are finished so I, n I need to like get three or four more I think and um, so I'm spending a lot of time in the studio I have got like um, other gigs like I've got this little tour of 
Russia, Ukraine and Belarus, which is um, going to be interesting going to Ukraine at a time like this. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, I'll, I'd probably stay away from the protests and stuff like that. Uh, but if, yeah, it's, uh, I've got a few little gigs, but really it's all about the album at the moment. Um, got some pretty cool collaborations in the pipeline. Um, yeah, I said with one with Dub Effects, but then I've also got some other people who, who uh, yeah, I'm not going to announce right now, actually. I'm going to leave that as a bit of a surprise. Um, but yeah, so basically just making loads of music. That's it, really. <laughs> <laughs> 